15 on the cognitive distortions list is uh, a pair. Uh, you take these separately, I just put them in, in uh, one section, is uh, pessimism and optimism biases. Uh, pessimism, it, pessimism is a, uh, a tendency to tor toward uh, a negative outlook on everything. Uh, even when something good happens, you, you know, you tend to focus on the, 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 the negative aspects of that. Usually this is going to develop as a defense mechanism. Maybe you've been disappointed uh, one too many times or you were taught early childhood. You can have um, uh, adverse childhood experiences, ACEs, that can lead to uh, what would seem relatively minor at the time to a pessimistic outlook on life. Um, what's that character uh, in Winnie the Pooh? Eeyore. Eeyore is a pessimist, right? Everything's terrible for the for Eeyore. Um even when something good happens, uh, he, you know, he takes a negative outlook on it. So beware of your, your pessimistic attitudes. Uh, you know, be aware that when you have a pessimistic or negative reaction to something, it might be part of a defensive mechanism. So just stop and, and uh, take that stoic pause. Be mindful and check yourself for that. And at the other end is an optimism bias. This is when you tend to... Um, overestimate your um, outcomes and if anything uh, it's better to have a I would say if you're going to be biased it's better to be biased toward the sunny side of things maybe have a higher outlook uh, just be on guard with an optimistic bias where you, you try to balance it out with some um, uh, rationality and uh, you know and the irony is that you probably will get better outcomes if you take a take the emotion out of it a little bit and try to make a more rational um, assessment of situation before you invest your time, uh, energy, uh, and money efforts into that, but on the whole, uh, one of our the uncivilized vitality philosophical points is to stay positive. So between the optimistic and pessimistic balance, try not to get uh, emotionally involved in the outcome of a situation before it occurs uh, to avoid these biases. And then once it occurs, when you're going to frame it and see it in this light, try to avoid being over, overly negative. I mean, if something bad happens, acknowledge the bad and use that for future reference. Uh, but don't overbalance the, the, the good of it either. If you do have to balance, uh, lean toward one side, I'd say default to the, the silver lining or more optimistic view. Uh, you just don't want to be uh, pathologically uh, Pollyanna-ish about uh, the outcome of, of things. Not everything's good. In the uncivilized vitality, we say uh, for your state positive, your optimistic, pessimistic bias, biases balance, we say some days you're the hammer, some days you're the nail.